Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. It's May 4th. Got the Minnesota-Denver game, the only game on the slate. It's actually uh, Friday night, you know, Saturday morning, one thirty. Game's over. I am uh, got a couple picks for the game. I'm not going too crazy because I want to see how it plays out. There's a, a few that I liked. Uh, the first one, I'm going with Michael Porter Jr. Over 17 and a half points, minus 115 on FanDuel. Uh, shop around because they got it up to 130, minus 130 on DraftKings and ESPN. Uh, he's gone over this every game with the Lakers. He's been doing really well, shooting lights out uh, head-to-head. Games during the regular season, he's gone over this. The last game he played, that was April 10th. Um. He's just been, you know, he turns it up in the playoffs. He did it last year, too. So, uh, definitely sticking with him. Michael Porter Jr. over 17 and a half. First, uh, not first quarter. I normally play him first quarter. I'm not doing that this time. Uh, full game, 17 and a half. All line it back if you have to because they had it at 18 and, uh, 18 and 19 for uh, 18 and a half for plus money, or 19. So, I just bought it back one. Definitely use all lines when you can. All right. All right, play number two. I'm going uh, Aaron Gordon under points and assists, 18 and a half, minus 120 on DraftKings. Uh, once again, line shop, they got it at 152 on FanDuel, so I'm sure this is going to be, they're going to be caught up by the morning. Um, he's gone under this the last couple games, but when you check head to head, he's gone under this almost every time they've played. So, uh, obviously it jumped out at me. We don't really know what's going to happen, but, you know, lower of averages, he's just saying that a lot. Seems like it's going to happen, so I figure I'll play it. Uh, yeah, I don't really uh, – both teams are really good. It's going to be a good series. So until that first game is up and we see what the coaches are going to do and how they're playing, like I said, I'm not going crazy. I just got four plays. Uh, Aaron Gordon under 18.5 points and assists. All right, play number three, going Nas Reed over 11.5 points and rebounds. Minus 115 on DraftKings. You know, lines are varying all over the place. Uh, when Towns was out, he had a lot more minutes, but right now he's down to like 18 averaging. He's gone over this. Uh... Three out of the last five. But what I liked was the head-to-head. Whereas Minnesota, he uh, gone over this the last four times they've played. Yeah, the last two games, he did play 30 minutes. But he also went over it in 19 minutes, 12 minutes, 25 minutes. So, I feel like he's uh, he's able to get over this when he's playing them. When, uh, when you check out his position, center, you can see the points a lot is 23rd. So, you know, they're letting the center score. Um, 
It's looking good. Like I said, it's not too much intel on it. We'll see what happens when they match up, but I liked what I've seen here. Uh, Nas Reed, he's got capable of scoring. I was going to take his points. They got his points at like eight and a half, but I liked it with the rebounds. His rebounds are at uh, three and a half. So the eight and a half plus the rebounds will come up to like 12. So putting them together, it's actually at 11 and a half. It's lower than that. And uh, stuck out to me. I liked it. Let's see what happens. Nas Reed, points and rebounds over 11 and a half. Uh, Caldwell Pope, Catavius Caldwell Pope, over two and a half rebounds. Got that plus 130. Um, yeah, the odds are high. I mean, it means it's going to be hard to hit. He did hit this the last game versus the Lakers. But the reason why I liked it is because head-to-head, -head, when he's played in Minnesota, the last two games, he's when he's got three and three. He did that on uh, March 29th and April 10th. Um, he's averaging, well, then he was averaging 26 minutes. Um see what he's been averaging. More than that, 32, 35, 40. So he's been playing a lot longer. And then uh, we check how they are against the, uh, the shooting guard position. Rebounds allowed, they're ranked 22nd, which is pretty bad versus the shooting guard. So whoever's guarding him, Allows him to get rebounds. So, uh, like I said, head to head. He's gone over this the last two times. It's only three. It's two and a half. He needs three. Get that real quick. Like, uh, like tonight's game. I played under with, uh, what's his name? Um, Gafford. And within the first minute, and it was a tip shot, it bounced off, he grabbed, they went again, he got three rebounds in one little session. And he ended up with six and just going over it, so we lost. But if he didn't do that, we would have won. But it's, you know, it's that simple. Uh, the game was crazy, though. The Whoever was, was the stats keeper, like, Irvin had a couple other steals, and they said they were blocks, and they were not blocks, they were steals. Uh, thank God he went over it. As well as some of the assists for Harden, he passed the ball. The the guy would dribble four or five times, do a move, and score, and they'd give him an assist. Like, that's not a real assist. I think an assist technically is supposed to be like two dribbles. I could be wrong. But to do like five dribbles and make a move and score, I feel like you, that, you're making that move yourself. I guess because I lost, so I'm kind of sour. But uh, like I said, if he grabbed them rebounds, he was going to go over it, and he got a lot of rebounds. So uh, they went over it. But we still cashed five for the night, so it was a good night. All right, so I got these four plays. Uh, there's a few others. I'll, I'll look to see tomorrow if I see anything I like. Uh, you can always take Edwards with his points. I'm sure he's going to go over. He's, uh, you know, he's a beast. Young Jordan. Uh, as far as tomorrow goes or any game, look out for the community and uh, pin comments. I'll be dropping plays as the game's going. All right, I'm going to go get some sleep. I'm going to get this out and uh, get some sleep. Ace money to name and pay for the game. <laughs>